You mentioned Syria. We've seen the nature of the Russian military and the Russian military in Syria targeting civilians, levelling entire neighbourhoods. Do you think Vladimir Putin would have been able to do what he's doing in Ukraine if the international community had stopped the massacres in Syria? Well, definitely uh, Mr. Putin will not be able to do the same things in Ukraine as he did in Syria, since we have our strong army, we have our aviation, we have anti-aircraft weapons, which is being used quite successfully. But it was the great mistake of Mr. Putin. Planning his aggression against Ukraine, he was of the opinion that uh, the Ukrainians will be happy to see them. We've seen troubling videos of people that aren't white trying to escape, fleeing the country and being stopped either by Ukrainian security forces at the train stations or on the border with Poland. What is the government doing? Uh, all the people who are uh, legally living in Ukraine have the same rights as Ukrainian citizen, uh, probably uh, just with limitation in the voting or some like political, since they are not the citizens of our country. But the general uh, rules are the same for them. We are treating all the people with absolutely equal attitude. We do not create any preferences for any national. What part do you feel social media is playing in portraying the conflict? Well, uh, this is a very good and very well-targeted uh, question. Uh, social media have two sides, two sides I would like, the positive and the sides of evil. The side of evil was extremely efficiently used by the R Russian regime for launching psychological war, for launching disinformation and for launching this uh, hybrid war, since information is the inseparable part of any hybrid actions. Uh, hundreds of so-called, uh, hundreds of thousands of so-called bots, uh, uh, internet bots, uh, were uh, doing its job against Ukraine. The positive side is to bring uh, the real information, uh, real-time even, even uh, to say, uh, uh, real-time information to the people to tell the truth. Can I talk to you about the EU? Has the invasion of Ukraine possibly hastened its admission into the EU? Well, first of all, the uh, potential decision uh, of the EU to invite Ukraine or to accept Ukrainian membership, uh, this is a great sign of solidarity. We are the members of the European community. We um, also have no doubts that the EU membership will be extremely positive for the Ukrainian economy since the last barriers for the trade will be removed and we will enjoy uh, all the freedoms for the goods, for services, for the uh, people's movement, for the labor forces. So this is quite extremely important and actually non-controversial since uh, we have the consensus of the Ukrainian nation uh, regarding the U membership in um, the EU. Besides, uh, another main uh, aim of the Ukrainian society is the membership in NATO.